<laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal, you can put it in me, Akpatashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yari ye yo, yari ye yase. Obi benye one fi yari ye. Yanfa yari ye su unye ni pa. Sinchile yari ye minu. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, supporters of our foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma, and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862 215 2007. Your zeal 862 215 2007. MTN Ghana numbers 055 000. 5077 055-000-5077 It is the MTN number CL Foundation for Health and Support Help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers wheelchairs old clothing new clothing financial support and let's give it to the needy Thank you for your support Yari ye yo, yari ye yase. Obi benye one fi yari ye. Yanfa yari ye su unye ni pa. Sinchile yari ye minu. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all doing once again? It's, it's a long time we had a road show because every time we are off the road, uh, now we are using flights and uh, motorbikes and jectors. So we use the road, but it is more or less in the flying it means that we jump out there like witches. The traffic is hectic and is at times very, very, very heartbreaking and annoying mm. that you find yourself mm. find yourself we are like looking. Yes. Uh, it was knocked down. Mm, I was he sitting behind the motor or he was because the rider there, he was sitting behind. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm doing a concern around because my driver drew my attention that a motorbike rider has broken the leg. What was, that? What was the last time we were coming that it happened in front of us? You remember? Now the you shouted. But whatever it is, this is why when you have the gift of life, you want to thank God because I see it every day. Life belongs to God. He chooses who to give it to. This is proudly brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips. I am here this morning to have a very good discussion. I promised yesterday in the evening that I will bring it to bed. Friends and loved ones, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know your take on the issues I want to raise. The first issue I want to raise is why are you alive? Can you share with me why you are alive this morning? Have you come to think about it? Have you thought of why you are alive? I didn't think I'm one come. I didn't think I'm a tiasi. I didn't think I'm a tiasi. I'm a pain. Then, then, I'm a ya, a sefata se, 
ye ma me nkwa then na ma ya e se fata se ene what am i say uh my driver is worried that the guy is hurt and they are now they are, there's no ambulance around you have two policemen trying to push the motorbike to their place but the guy who is hurt they are not attending to him sitting down there <laughs> The policeman is carrying the motor to the police station, but the patient that is wounded is sitting down there, holding the broken leg, if I am right, by using that word. But we see the leg broken. Whatever it is, whatever it takes, we all apply the road. So I want to say, do you have a reason why this morning you are alive? Can you share with me why you are alive? Can you tell me why you watching me this morning is alive? Is it possible? Is it possible you share with me? In a which way? Whether you have a reason and a cause why you are alive, or you don't have a reason why you are alive, you are alive. What are you using this life given to you today for? What are you using it for? Well, somebody just had a motorbike accident. The driver is in trouble. The motor rider is in trouble. The one who is sitting behind the motor rider is in trouble. It's funny that you leave your house in the morning and all of a sudden you have that particular opportunity to go and by ways and means such an unfortunate incident comes to the story of it. Therefore I pray and I ask that in your carefulness may the Holy Spirit guard you. Therefore I pray that in all that you do it may the Lord give you cover. May he cover you, cover your children, cover your wife, cover your family. May you be under the covering and the wings of the Almighty God. That whatever will come near your dwelling as a surprise, as an incident by accident, may he deal with it for you and keep you going. That you will end this 24 hours without any casualty, without any trouble. I declare this into time even in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I ask this morning that the Lord will lead you to a location where your allocation is available so you can use your allocation properly. May he divert you from the wrong location to the right location for your allocation for proper application. In this world, may help us come your way. Thank you very much. This morning, I still want to say that I've, I've read a lot of breaking news, a lot of wanted and unwanted news around the world. And most of them are news that you wish, you will, maybe listing or forget. We are still discussing the issues of, um, or the issue surrounding the death of the deputy minister Honorable John Kuma. Mm. And like I said and like I said yesterday the wife Is mourning, but in the state of the morning, I wanted to admonish her to to. I want to admonish her to mourn the loss of the husband well, in a way that she will not regret after because if you follow 
the statements and the conversations that is surrounding the demise of the husband, she will be forced to come and say what she's not supposed to say. And there are too many of them that is happening right now as I'm speaking to you. Some are not wholesome. Some are not wholesome. Some are truly not the right word. That must be used for a woman who has lost the wife or the husband, sorry. But so has it been. Honorable John Kuma is being celebrated everywhere with his nice pictures. This, this affable young man had a prophecy over his head, according to Prophet Nayagezi, of ending up to be a president. His presidential dream has been cut off. The issues surrounding the death is too many and not too much. Whatever it is, I believe that there's a way out. But the way out is not when the wife is mourning the husband by saying whatever has transpired between their relationship. So my encouragement is simple. Mommy, prophetess, please relax and don't answer all your critics. But some of them don't deserve your voice. However, behave like you're preparing to be a widow because it's very essential. That was a discussion yesterday. I've seen a lot of issues that are going up. Right now, it is um, Captain Smart, um, Katichia Free Far, Vim Lady, and Captain Smart is addressing the three of them and what he's saying to the three of them might not be too nice and I wish the woman would not come and respond because her response is giving too much information to the public this morning our topic is very simple who is a good husband to a wife brought to you by Who is this? Dr. Paul Amen. Where is he? This is about oil. I told you he's the president of the Palm Oil Association and their tax force is arresting those who have been giving palm oil illegally to the country. So, may I start my topic for today? Who is a good husband to a wife? Yesterday, I played an audio. It came as an audio, but it was a video that was a chance on. What was the video about? Everybody was supposed to share their thoughts on it. Unfortunately, it never happened well. So this morning, I'll take the initiative and the privilege to play it again for you. So let's hear it. I think it's playing in my Bluetooth. I don't know how it will sound. So, 
doesn't keep a man at all. Spending time with a man doesn't keep a man correct. You could have the best intentions, you could have the most sincere feelings, and you could be a good woman and still wouldn't be able to keep a man. And because the only way to keep a man is if that man wants to be kept by you. You can't force a man to be with you at all. You can't beg a man to stay with you at all. You can't make a man to love you. You're right. A man that wants to be kept when the relationship gets hard will do everything to fight for you. Yes. Because a man only fights for a girl he wants to belong to. Yes. So if he isn't Baby. fighting for you when Baby. things get hard, Come he close. doesn't this want for you to be kept Thank you so much, my lovely. You know, I there is the hard truth, lady. She always being pretty doesn't keep a man at all. Being honest doesn't keep a man. Being loyal doesn't keep a man. You are right. Being there for a man doesn't keep a man. Exactly. Treating a man well doesn't keep a man. Making an effort doesn't keep a man. Caring about a man doesn't keep a man at all. Spending time with a man doesn't keep a man correct. You could have the best intentions, you could have the most sincere feelings, and you could be a good woman and still wouldn't be able to keep a man. And because the only way to keep a man is if that man wants to be kept by you. You can't force a man to be with you at all. You can't beg a man to stay with you at all. You can't make a man to love you. You're right. A man that wants to be kept when the relationship gets hard will do everything to fight for you. Yes. Because a man only fights for a girl he wants to belong to. Yes. So if he isn't Baby. fighting for you when Baby. things get hard, Come he close doesn't want for you to be kept by thank you so much, my lovely. You know, I know All right, so uh, somebody is thanking this woman for speaking what, um, in quote, she thinks is the biggest sense, and if she thinks is the hard truth that has been spoken. And so yesterday, in my conversation, one of the things that I spoke about is I would discuss this issue. Whilst I ask, who is a good husband? And situating this conversation, I started this conversation one time and I never ended it because it's a conversation that will never end. And the reason why it will never end is because a lot of us have tried our best to find ways and means to survive, but it has not worked for us. Who what is the difference between a husband and a man? Because the lady's voice is to keep a man, to keep a man. My question is, why do you want to keep a man? Do we keep men? Do we keep a man? What do we do to keep a man? That was the question I was asking. But my question is, is there a difference between a husband and a man? If there is, then the lady's discussion, is she addressing men or addressing husbands? Share the pain you need. Hit your screen and let's go. I don't know if you get where I'm coming from. So every day we have something we want to say. And what we say is how I wish to have a good husband. Who is a good husband? What makes one a good husband?
So who is a, a who is a good husband? So not just a husband, but we are looking at what qualifies the person to be a good husband. Because there are women who really talk about their husband is so good. What actually makes a woman feel that you are a good husband to her? So a good husband will be to a wife. Is it possible that somebody who is not married to you can identify you as a good husband to a wife? Now, obi beti man no me draw ama yale fuana. Obi beti man no me draw ama yale fuana. The other na wadi ya hono. Ano nesi ese bemani ni subain. Na wa unna me chile no. Wo se bemani ye. Ye hono ni so bemada. Se me ishia. Unya bear my say, Bianca, and can see a new abrabuni. Maybe so. Is it possible that a man can be a good husband, but not to the wife, but outsiders can see? Oh, my thank you. See, I'm alive because of God's mercy. Thank you for answering my question. I like that. I am now seeing it to read for you. Thank you. So in your own language, who is a good husband? And I'm, I'm saying that, is there a difference between a husband and a man? Because the video I just played for you, the lady is making a serious assertion and says this is the hard truth that you can't keep a man unless the man wants to be kept. But in this world, who can be kept if they don't want to be kept, if it's not slavery? I mean, I, I don't understand. Who can be kept if they are not ready to be kept? Apart from you imposing and making them become imprisoned. So if a woman is saying that you want to be kept, it means that she wants you to run according to her emotions, her feelings, her thoughts, what she says. Sit down. You sit down. Anytime she calls you, you should be available for her to talk to you. Come home on, on time. Do this. Once you're listening to her, it means you are kept. And what are you keeping somebody's son for? Is it for ritual? For manipulation? Or for what? So I will discuss it extensively. But a lot of people are telling, showing, and speaking their mind. And saying the lady is a good one. This is the truth you can never hear. Well, everybody has a way they describe the elephant by their way they they where they held. But I'm saying this morning, who is a good husband to a wife? And I qualified it to a wife. Is it likely that only wives can speak? Or there is a who is not married to a certain man. But fortunately for her, she can easily testify that this man is a good husband to my sister. Is it possible? Could it be that outside gentility home cry? Could it be that there are a lot of people who apparently are enduring in their marriages and the surrounding people are rather enjoying the marriage that they find themselves. Is it possible that my sister-in-law will love me so much because of the things I do for her and my wife will hate me because I am good outside but I'm evil to her inside. Is it possible? Is it possible that the stories we are hearing were people are saying their husbands are good and generally speaking it is not true so my question this one is that who is a good husband to a wife 
Because if you're a husband, then you are married. And it's to a wife. Is it possible you can have a good husband that you know your husband is good? But he himself doesn't know he's good. Could it also be that a man is a good husband but the wife has never appreciated how good the husband is? These are questions. And it's more than three weeks now I wanted to treat this topic. Who is a good husband to a wife? Is it actually an easy task to be able to identify who a good husband is? Because all of us will wish to have a good husband for ourselves. Those of us who are married, is it easy for you to have a good husband? And if you are watching me and you are a man, are you a good husband, genuinely, from your heart? Or better still, you are a good husband, but you are not appreciated as good. It's because the barometer of measuring a good husband, the system is unfortunately kept by your wife. So when your wife says you are good, then we have to accept that you are good. So if your wife says you are not good, then we have to accept that you are not good. But could it be that your wife is saying you are not good because there is something specific that she wants you to do and you are not doing? I pray you don't get a ruler instead of a wife. Because there are people who are wearing rings and they are rulers. And they use their rulership to invite other women to form rulership caucus. Francis, one who cares, loves, provides, protects, and supports the wife is a good husband. Thank you, Francis. Abna Ousua, congratulations. Thank you very much on my honorary doctorate. Thank you for saying congratulations to me. Typically, a shanty man who normally looks after their nephews and nieces can be good to them, but not to their wives and kids. So Francis is writing a whole thesis for me here. That yes, a man can be a good husband to the wife but the the material that a man by virtue of the family and the clan's external understanding and gentleman agreement that has become a traditional practice they take care of their niece nephews that can happen and they will say the niece and the nephews and the wife will say he's a bad husband we have not discussed even father yet but he has moved us to that level also I say he's a good husband is a responsible is responsible he pays the bill he controls the affairs of the house he gives instruction. <laughs> I love this one, Uzwa. Abna, sorry. Yeah, Abna Uzwa. He says a good husband is responsible. Who pays the bills? He controls the affairs of the house and gives instruction. When instructions are giving and is not taking, does it make him still a husband? And these things you are saying, can it happen that a certain man will be a good husband 
while these things are not part of his practice because he's not he's not allowed to do it. So when a woman is a ruler and not a wife, but is seen as a wife outside, like Jezebel, she was a very beautiful woman who was married by the king. And unfortunately for the king, the beautiful wife wanted to prove a point by using his seal. And that is how Jezebel became a very, very strong ruler against the king who was the husband. I'm just watching a politician who is, whose wife is more influential than him. And the wife will come and speak whilst the politician was, is supposed to address the, cons the constituents. I'm looking at a thing, but the wife will have to do it on his behalf. And as a result of that particular bathing and that particular exercise, Bashai and no vocal. Yak says, Congratulations, doctor. You deserve it and more. Thank you. I see a lot of congratulating me yesterday. There was a whole literature that Honorable Vicky Hammer wrote, eh? and it got me very emotional because, like I said, right from Real Talk on TV3 and on Multimedia Chocolate Factory, which is counting down to 14 years and more now, we've done some with her. And she posted one picture of ours from Real Talk a late night show that people will not stop calling. And TV3 saw the good work we did. Unfortunately, the new pharaoh have no idea of what Joseph did. And that is what led the Israelites to go into servitude and became slaves in their own country. A country that Joseph saved. So I'm grateful that people can remember and congratulate me. Thank you for saying I deserve it. I know I deserve it, but I was not looking for it, and it has come. So my continuation. Who is a good husband? And if you are with a good husband, should you let him know? I've asked many questions. Oh. If, you, if you are married to a good husband, that uh, does it help? When you announce it to him, if it's good. Because there are times that they rub the negative on your face. As if to say, become the negative and not the positive. I made a statement one time. And they never agreed with me. And I think till today, they have not finished agreeing with me. I think the last time, maybe Gladys wrote something. Whilst we were on TikTok. Also yesterday, I didn't hear about this woman's language of who a man is. I might, I might ask my driver to see. She gave us a talk the last time. I remember she sharing with us who a good husband is. But I would like to ask again. Knowledge is power. She heard what a woman was saying. Hard truth. Everybody say hard truth. A disappointed woman in a relationship. A woman going, to, look, there are people that come to share yesterday. Hey, the story of my life. I was damn tired after a, an exhausting meeting. Hey, George. I got to my car park and I was in a car. For more than 25 minutes, I can't come out. I was damn tired. And I told myself, for the first time when I get home, I'll bath and sleep. Then I sat down. My wife was there. And I think I said something to her. And my daughter came and would sleep. Do you know when I enter my house at times? Immediately the sleeping I'm having. It goes off like somebody has come to collect it. It's like when I see my house. 12 o'clock prayer must happen. 1 o'clock. Then I went to, to this page. I saw them discussing some issues. And they were lying to each other. And it triggered me to go and speak the truth. Oh my God. From 11 o'clock to 3 a.m. 
works. Everything I have to go and see the truth. Who have called me? Let me read this one. He says, Well, doc, to me, I think a good husband is a man who is responsible to his wife and kids and also can extend his responsibility to others. Let me read more. It's a whole literature and thesis for me. If he has, if he he has the means. After, after all, men too have issues, so you can have a man all to yourself. But if he tries to make you happy and support your spiritual mentally and support you spiritually, spiritual and mentally, physically, you should be proud of him. Men suffer, but women don't know. Wow. Wow. May I clap for you? Men suffer. But women don't know. Men suffer. I like the last part of your writer. It says men suffer, but women don't know. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Huh. The thing that the lady wrote, I don't know whether it's a gentleman or it's the name. I think it's, a, it's an Aborian name or something that they are using on Facebook. Men suffer, but women don't. And I think it's in the context of a husband. I keep asking myself, do we know the difference between a husband, a father, and a man? That is a discussion that is on my YouTube. I've had it before, but I'll repeat it here. By then, there was no TikTok. So, madam, will you give us your thoughts on the lady's statement she made that a man can only be kept when a man is ready to be kept? And in her language, do you see her speaking to husbands or speaking to men? Uh, You want to come in the video? So, speak, we are listening to you. Your contributions are very important. And you can't say you don't have anything to say because you are not there. You have to say something, otherwise, I'll show your face. Say something, see something. If you are not saying something, what of the others who are sitting in the office? Why do you want them to say something to you? So, say it. You just said it, they heard you. And Rabba says she's not going to organize a talk with Kuku and Kosi. <laughs> yeah, just, just by the way, yesterday I had a guy, one of the guy, president of the guy association, speaking and saying that they have taken everything that belongs to the guy. Yoke Gari is not government. It's a food that was created from Accra. And that's why Rollins ate Yoke Gari those times. And you know, a lot. Yoke Gari, Yoke Gari. So government is not the name. Yoke Gari is the name, but we are giving it to Ewes and saying, go back. And we have glorified it as food for Ewes. But Yoke Gari is a ga food. Gas brought Yoke Gari. Yesterday I heard it and I was like, wow. Food and gas. My sisters and brothers who are gas, I greet you. I greet you, gas. So my driver is putting her thoughts together through Kusi and Koko. And the Kose is coming up with some tea bread. I see people eating Kose and they put it in tea bread. And when they bite it, when I was growing, one of the meals that I said I would drink is cocoa and calabash and tea bread. Long one, hot with margarine inside. It was a delicacy for me. Now, this is me. It's so difficult. For, I can't remember the last time I drank cocoa. It's not because I can't get why it's difficult. What is the right? Emmanuel Yabwa says, what is the right or good? What is right or a good husband? A man who obeys the instruction of God and do it is a good husband. 
I like your explanation. It means that a good husband is a man who is married to God. That's what you're saying. So when a man marries God, he becomes a good husband to God. That's a good thing. But there are pastors whose wives are complaining that they are very bad husbands. And they are telling the congregation that their husbands are leading them to hell. A very serious statement. When you are in a church and your wife is influencing the church members that you are a bad man. And she's even wondering why you are thank you for coming. The members are still coming to church. She still comes to church to sit on the front seat as a for Our program has begun. Is it? Hey, I got my chest too. Yeah. So there is no small distribution, and that's what here is. This is what we are going to do our own the last time. It's a big event. So I have an event. So today I might not run to. To the end of what you are doing. Uh, in the next hour, I am introducing the Gam chief, the Gamashi chief, not the whole chief of the whole Ga state. We don't have a chief for the whole Ga state. Well, I'm in my uh, friendship club. Um, has invited me and the foundation. They are not a foundation, but they give support to people who need their support. So they pledge to support CL Foundation. And I was given an invitation by Dr. Lawrence Tetter through Abeku Santana to be one of their special guests of honor this morning. And the program starts at 10. So you will see me this morning with all the reporters. I see you TV there, so TV3 there. And me too, I'll be there soon. I realize that this morning the discussion is going down well with a lot of typing. And it's not easy. When people are busy at work and you are disturbing them with a very important topic. So this topic, like you always know I do, I do the road show every morning. And um, because I do it every morning, I have discussions that comes up every morning. Oh, it's not easy, huh? Make a request like this. It distracts the boy. I'm still waiting. Who is a good husband to a wife? I know you are all putting your talk together like uh, my driver. And the reason for the thoughts you are putting together is because you have something to say.
I will not be biased. I will not be wrong. If I find myself in a situation where my wife says I'm a bad husband, I'll be very disappointed. Because as far as I'm concerned, in all my evil doings, in all my right thinking, in all my goodwill and my effort and my struggle and my suffering, I consider her as one of my highest priorities. So I will be very disappointed, but I won't commit suicide because I am not wife. I cannot think like a wife. I can only think like a husband because I am married. So most of us, we expect that our husbands would think like us. Any husband that thinks like a wife has a mental deficiency. And any wife that thinks like a husband also has a deficiency. Because the formation of a wife, the purpose of creating a wife, the bringing of a wife into that space is not to have the same like-minded people to live together. It is that two unlike-minded people will create emotion. Because like poles repel. Unlike poles attract. So when I hear people saying that how can two work together unless they agree and so if you want to, to work together you need to agree. How can two work together unless they disagree when it comes to marriage? So a marriage joint is a type of joint that is made not by the same cable. So you can do a marriage joint See what ambulance is doing? <laughs> Can you police. see? It's not police. He's wearing a reflector. It's not police. No. But you see, they are going to call you. And a car doesn't give you have a home. If you have an ambulance, will you have a night? Because in this space, if you have, if you're traveling to call you, and you find yourself in this traffic, you'll be in trouble. And like one good friend of mine said, there are three things that will hurt you. A yam ka, a ka, and a kaka. There are a lot of issues you want to discuss. But like I'm saying, the energy to be a wife, I don't have. So if you tell me, put myself in your shoes, it's difficult to put myself in the shoes of my wife. I will constantly perform my duty as a husband. But like I wrote on Sunday morning, that is still going up there. Good food, good sex, doesn't make a husband like respect to the voice of a man. And I was sharing with you earlier that if you allow your husband to beg you, say sorry to you, because we have wives who have constantly reminded you. So when you are sorry, what sort of pride is that? No man has a pride. God created every man with an ego. And there's a difference between ego and pride. I remember within the story of King and Eber, when God cursed, pronounced a curse on King for killing Abel, 
Cain said, my punishment is too much for me. Listen to me. Some men are married and they are suffering like Cain. Some men are married and they are truly, truly going through pain like Cain. And they don't know what to do because if you find yourself going through pain like Cain and you didn't do what Cain did, how will you manage yourself? I don't have all the time this morning. And usually when it's not very interactive, it reduces the energy. Thank you. Share, share, share. Oh, yes. I've decided not to share this morning, but I encourage you to share. Lifetime knowledge is here for, for free. Well, that's true. But they, they wouldn't see it. Yes. Oh, but yesterday I was telling myself when I finished the TikTok lecture, I went back and I was sitting and I told myself this relationship thing, I know power. I was telling myself if nobody shoots or will blow your home for you, fight your own home, tell yourself you are good. In this month of positive confession, yesterday I look at myself in the washroom, in the mirror. And I said, me, 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 my dear pa, and I was here. Because I came to the space and everybody gave me access for two hours lecturing them on the mistakes that they were sharing. Because they were teaching wrong. So I know. And I can't practice everything I teach. Because how many at all can I have? If you are looking for a good husband, I may not have the process of taking you through how to get a good husband. But if we have this conversation and my questions are answered like you are doing now, we can all find a way to get a good husband. But let me say this in my conclusion remarks because I'm supposed to be at the event at 10 a.m. In my concluding remarks, one of the things I will not stop or relent by virtue of what I have learned and seen is to tell you that there is a man that can be a husband but not a father. And there's a man that can be a father, but not a husband. And there's a man that can just, there's a, a male that can just be a man in your life. And he cannot be a father. He cannot be a husband. And their husbands, who are truly keen in their homes, but their wives are the rulers. I don't know who this might be going for. And I don't know how it will be going for. But it is my humble prayer that these few times I've shared with you, 54 minutes of knowledge and impartation, I pray that whatever is holding you back, which is the reason why it's difficult for you to identify same way whatever has caused your husband not may it also have 
that liberty of producing for you a good husband. Same way, whatever you need to see before you can say your husband is a good husband, may God let you see so you can tell people that your husband is good. But may I encourage any good husband that if you are good, you know you are good. Wives, don't rubbish the bad side in the face of your husband. One day I see I'll ask, is it wrong for Happy now by saying that if you are a good husband, be a good husband. Same way, don't allow the attitude or the behavior of your wife stop you from being a good husband. Don't allow anybody to make you a bad one. Because the rewarder of those who diligently seek him, his name is God. Yes, you might be doing the physical, material, favor to some people who might not appreciate it. But once it's godly done, hear me, the reward will come. Don't change because your wife is not appreciated. Continue being a good husband. I'm okay. This morning. And this is part one of this conversation. But the next leg is, if you have ever encountered a bad husband before, what constitutes a bad husband? Or what can we use to describe a bad husband. Because for a good husband, I don't know. For a bad husband, I don't know. But I feel sad when I hear women saying that put yourself in my shoes. If you put yourself in the shoes of your wife, it will be difficult for you to help him because you don't have a breast. You don't menstruate. I am very fortunate to understand what menstruation was all about because I was trained in the year 2000 as a peer health educator and I did reproductive health and I expanded that conversation to a higher level. So I understand when women are going through their menstruation. I also understand when women are going through menopause. And based on their menopause, they become a burden one way or the other if you don't really get them. So most of you might be having the wrong side of the women you are married to. And the reasons why you're having the wrong side is because they have a certain face they are going through. And the one time lovely wife of yours now have become a very difficult, unmanageable person in your life. Mm. 
may you continue to be a good husband even if you are not accepted as such good morning and thank you very much Eliquid. thank you for your support good morning good day till I come your way again enjoy why stop last when the stock is finished know that when there was stock you were enjoying hello hello 